Hello everyone, hello my friend, happy to see you here. Really interesting exponential equation today and really interesting math Olympiad problem. So we have square root of x to the power square root of x equal to equal to 4, yeah? So how can you solve this interesting question? There are a lot of approaches, of course, maybe most of you solve it by inspection, but in math we're interested, of course, in all solutions, so we need to solve it from the top to the bottom of the paper, we are not interested like in one or two lines, yeah? So we need to solve it correctly and all solution. First of all, I want to mention one one really interesting moment. We have square root, yeah? And we all know that if we have square root, all inside this square root need to be positive. So the first step, x is positive. x is greater than zero, yeah? And right now, if we go with substitution, square root of x equal to, for example, y, we have the next thing. We have the next equation. We have y to the power y equal to 4, yeah? So we have this one. And of course, maybe a lot of students solve it by inspection. So in this way, we can solve it by inspection easier than in this one, because we have y to the power y equal to 4, then 2 square equal to 4. So our y, our y equal to 2. But this is not like a full solution. We cannot solve it like in our school. We cannot solve it like that, yeah? We need to prove that this will be only one solution, or we need to find all solution, yeah? So our y equal to 2, and of course, from here, we go with substitution, y equal to 2, then square root of x equal to 2, and from here, x equal to 4, yeah? So it looks like we solve it, but how can we prove that this will be like only one solution? Let's try to think a little bit and let's try to find how information about this function. Because if we go with the function, for example, p equal to y to the power y, let's find information about this function. It was, this function will be like monotonic increasing, decreasing, let's find minimum or maximum this function, and then we will be able like to, to say information about this root. Okay, first of all, we have this function, pi equal to y to the power of y. And let's find our natural log right here on both sides, because if we take natural log on both sides, we will have natural log pi p equal to natural log y to the power y. And this y goes right here because of a log property. So we will have natural log p equal to y times natural log y. Yeah, so we have, this is our function. And right now, let's find a derivative of this function. So let's find dp over dy. Yeah? If you find this, we will have like the next one. This is a product. So we go with this the same with derivative of natural log y. This is 1 over y. And plus derivative of this natural log or this is the same natural log y and derivative of y equal to 1. So this is our derivative of this function natural log pi. Yeah? And right now, let's simplify this a little bit. y times uh, 1 over y equal to 1, so 1 plus natural log y. So this is our derivative. In this case, we're interested like in the point of minimum or maximum. So how can we find it? We need to solve the equation with our derivative. So 1 plus natural log y equal to 0, yeah? And we need to solve it. We will find our y from the point of minimum or maximum, yeah? Let's do this. Uh, bring this one on the right hand side, so natural log y equal to minus 1, and from here we can easily find it, because y equal to y equal to e to the power minus 1, or 1 over e. And this is really good, because we find our point of minimum or maximum. We don't know right now about it, but we find with y. So let's go to our x, because we had a substitution right here, so our x, so square root of x equal to 1 over e. So from here, squared both sides, raising to the second power, our x equal to 1 over e squared. And this is our point of minimum or maximum. We don't know about it. This is one, this is one point of minimum or maximum. I write it right here. So our x equal to 1 over e square. This is our point of minimum or maximum. We don't know about it. And let's find our der second derivative, because if you find derivative, if you find the second derivative, we can easily so we can easily see about the monotonic increasing, about uh, about minimum or maximum. We will find like all information about it. So our dp over dy. Let's go right here, because right here, second derivative, we have derivative right here. If you find the second derivative, it will be like 0 and natural log y equal to 1 over y. This is our second derivative. Derivative of this expression. So the first derivative and we find the second derivative. And one really interesting moment, because y is always positive. 
So y is greater than zero because x is greater than zero, yeah? Because x is greater than greater than zero and moreover because of square root of x to the power square root of x. This is all greater than greater than zero. So from here one over y is greater than zero and x is one over e square, yeah? So this is a point of minimum. So this is our minimum point. And really interesting case right now. And let's find our the value in that point because this is a minimum. Let's find the value of y in this point because y equal to square root of x to the power square root of x, which is equal to. Let's find this, uh, the value in this point square root of x of square root of x. We will have like square root of 1 over e square to the power square root of 1 over e square. 1 over e square. And if we apply the square root on both sides, we will have 1 over e to the power 1 over e. This is our y and this is our point of minimum. And let's draw a graph and after this graph you will understand all these, all these steps. So we have this expression right here. This is our graph. Let's go right here. So our 4, this is our constant. So let's draw this 4 right here. So this is our constant, right right here, this is our constant. Constant 4, yeah? And right now, let's go from here, because this is our 0, 1, right here, 0, 1. And we go with square root of x to the power square root of x function. So we go from here, this function looks like that, and right here we will have 1 root because this is monotonic increasing function, because always positive. And this is our point of minimum. We find it right here. So this is our point, I write it. We have like one over e square. This is our point and y equal to one over e to the power one over e. One over e to the power one over e. This is our point of minimum. Minimum. Right here we will have point of intersection. So if we solved before, we will have like two. So this is our our two right here. Two. This is our point of minimum in monotonic increasing function. Monotonic increasing. Monotonic increasing function. And one and only case that this equation will have roots is when x equal to two because we have point of minimum right here we don't have any point of intersection and our function grows increasing and we'll have like one point of intersection with this constant function so this is my explanation to this problem of course maybe a little bit complicated because with this derivative because with this point maybe a lot of students don't know a lot about it but i hope you you understand maybe a little bit maybe a lot understand so i hope you enjoy this video and i hope you you understand, of course, this explanation. If you don't understand, write your question in comment. We try to help everyone. If you have a little bit difficulties with derivatives, with this explanation, I try to help everyone. And thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.